Alright, what is going on, my lovely people? Now, before I get started, uh, one of you asked me if I would do a full run and, um, 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 record a full run rather than, like, the brief little moment, so I'm gonna do one of those, but after this, I'm pretty much done with Binding of Isaac, um, and that is because, obviously, you know, the way I can see if people are engaged, if people are interested, if people want to see things, it's a hundred percent, let me actually turn this... I don't know how loud it is. Oops, that's not what I wanted. You can see my stats there. That's not what I wanted either. I want options. What am I doing? It's actually very loud. We'll go with that. All right. So, um, 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 engagement. So obviously, the way that I can see if people are interested in what I'm doing, there's basic. There's three essential components to it. Uh. Views, obviously, is a big one. That's, like, probably the least important one, though, I would say. Because while views do matter, in general, uh, that is the least important one. It's just, you know, sure, people watching is good. But what the more important ones are, how many likes am I getting? How, you know, like, was this a good enough video? Is this interesting enough to the people that they take the time out of their day to hit the thumbs up button? If it's not, then obviously I shouldn't keep doing it. And so, like, games like this... Or FTL, you know, like, they get maybe, like, a hundred views, but they only get, like, two likes? That's really, really bad. Same thing with comments. These videos are getting almost no comments. Very few, very little, so there's no engagement there. And so, I recognize that this is not what people really want to be seeing at the moment. I understand that. Um, unfortunately, like, time just hasn't really managed to be proper to, um record like you know fighting game stuff which is obviously what most people want that are subscribed to me is fighting game things obviously like even now even still as bad as i am at marvel my marvel videos still get the most amount of likes the most amount of views everything the most amount of comments um and blaze blue is basically second on that list then persona 4 arena and then street fighter uh, like, but overall, people just really aren't that interested in Persona 4 Arena. I don't know if it's because I just don't like the game or because the game isn't that interesting to watch overall. I don't know what it is exactly, but I do know those are that's one of the least, uh, uh, aside from just, like, random gameplay stuff that I do, but out of fighting games, Persona 4 Arena is definitely kind of, generally has the least amount of, like, views to likes ratio. So anyway, while we're talking about Persona 4 Arena, apparently that game has gotten a, a confirmed arcade update. They're going to be changing some things, so, you know, who knows. Apparently they just want to update all their games and take all the thunder away from Guilty Gear coming out in a month. I don't know. I don't know. Just, that's what confuses me the most about it. Like, okay, you want to update your games. Good for you. You want to keep them current. Uh, you want to keep giving people new things to be involved in. That's cool. But why do you keep announcing these things before another game comes out. Like, why can't you let Persona 4 Arena come out, and then you announce Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma 2.0? Why can't you let Guilty Gear come out, and then you t then you talk about an arcade update for, for uh, Persona 4 Arena? Like, it's just, it's so weird to me. It's so odd. I just don't really understand it. But, um... I don't know, you know, whatever that is, that's very odd to me from, like, a business perspective, because you want to think, you know, you don't want to be sending out competing news. Obviously, it is only an arcade update, so, like, it's not that important, but it still draws attention away from your upcoming game. It's very, I don't know, it's just, it's an odd mentality to me, I don't understand it, but hey, you know, they do their thing, whatever. So, I don't really have anything else to tell, it's just, you know, I promise I'm going, I'm trying to get, um fighting game stuff I'm trying to play it just you know the timelines haven't matched up like right now I'm playing it's about noon and um it's just like right now it would be very difficult for me to find matches and usually I record these things even earlier than this like when I get home sometime around like 9 in the morning or 10 in the morning which obviously I will never find matches in any fighting game uh so long as I'm playing at like 9 a.m. Um, so I'm trying. I promise I'll get it to you ASAP. But for now, I'm gonna do a run through. But I just want to let you guys know what was going on. Like, I'm not ignoring this shit. I'm not like, oh, I'm done with all of this. I'm just not gonna play it. I just haven't had the time. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into a run of this, which will probably likely be the final piece I do on Binding of Isaac, unless I kind of just like 
I've been kind of pondering, because I do want to work on my video editing skills, except the issue there is, like, I'm not really interested in uh, getting, you know, going through the hoops to get Sony Vegas or buying it or what, you know, getting a good video editing software. Uh, so I'm just using, like, Windows Movie Maker, which obviously is very limited in scope and what it's able to do. You know, it can do a, a lot of simple things very well, but when you want to actually try and get into, like, various effects and, um, you know, just kind of get complicated, it falters a lot and doesn't really have options available for those. But I would like to try and, you know, do some more video editing stuff on my own time just to kind of, you know, learn it, just get better at it. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll have some fun with it. And so I've kind of thrown around some ideas of just, like, kind of recording run-throughs and then putting together, like, a hype compilation or something like that. But, uh, for now, for now, this is going to be the last Binding of Isaac video in a while. So I hope y'all enjoy it when I put it out.